Who the heck is yeah. that a picture of? Well, well, look at you. You're you know, the wind blowing in Death Valley is kind of overtaking that building. Well, you're this in. I'm in my house right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, the strong winds yeah, we, there. We're, we don't clean very often. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is not an image of mine. Oh, but it goes to a quote I'm going to read today. This is Martha Graham. A lot of us older folk will remember her, a very famous dancer. And uh, boy, I don't know who shot her. I think some famous people shot her, but always great black and white images of her Oh, really? So that's actually Martha Graham, a photograph yeah. of Martha Graham. But yeah, I don't know who shot it, though. Okay. I think some famous, famous portrait guys okay. did her work, though. But I've got a quote. I just really resonated. You know, I love reading about other artists because, again, they're thoughts on creating are very similar to the things we go through. Here's okay. Martha. There is a vitality, a life force, an energy, a quickening that is translated through you into action. And because there is only one of you in all of time, this expression is unique. And if you block it, you will never exist through any other medium and it will be lost. The world will not have it. It's not your business to determine how good it is, nor how valuable or how it compares with other expressions. It is your business to keep it yours clearly and directly, to keep the channel open. You do not even have to believe in yourself or your work. You have to keep yourself open and aware to the urges that motivate you. Keep the channel open. I just love that. Again, it's wow. it's very focused on creating for self. All of these great quotes, and of course I pick ones that support my view, are focusing on ourselves and what we think, what we feel, what we love, what we're passionate about, and expressing that. It really, I think this uh, speaks to our last episode where that viewer's question was about uh, you know, posing the idea of being frustrated, you know, and getting discouraged that people and, and martha is essentially saying here that's not your worry it's not for you to yeah. be worried about it you, you're worrying about the wrong thing and she know? talks about comparing you know we shouldn't be comparing and, and it's so easy to do we talked about when you go to death valley and you see something and you take it and then somebody else creates something wonderful and yeah. you beat yourself up because you didn't see that that's not your business. Your business is to focus on what you see, not what another see. Yeah. And your business is to create images that are coming from within you, not, not based on these rules and guidelines that we talk about in other episodes, but based on how you feel. <laughs> and you're going to organize the frame in a way that feels right. Right. And I think about a dancer, man, when you see great dancers, there's another quote, and I don't know to to attribute it to, but great dancers aren't great because of their technique. Great dancers are great because of their passion. And I think about great musicians, great musicians oh, that we yes. love are not aren't necessarily great singers. Yes, they're not necessarily great because of their technical prowess. They're great because of the passion of which they sing with, which they play with, and on and on. And it's the same thing with photography, right? The phot photographs that resonate with me are the ones that I can feel their passion slathered all over. I don't, I can't remember the last time that I looked at a photograph and then, you know, a print of yours and went, Cole, I love this. I've never seen anything this sharp. <laughs> I love this. I can't believe that you followed the rule of thirds. Good job. That's, I've never responded yeah. to a photograph that way. I responded hey. to it with, wow, this is so impactful. I'm blown away by this. It reminds me of X. It makes me feel this. That's how my, I respond. Well, my friend, I, I've told the story before, who is the chickens, the, the dead chickens. No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, my friend who's into the sharpness thing, always the oh, best yeah. lens, prime lenses at the proper aperture, focus, focus on, focus on sharpness. And he comes to me and he says, hey, I was looking at Migrant Mother. And yeah. I can't remember, is that Mar Margaret Burke Wright or is that Dorothy? I think no, it's no. Dorothy. Dorothy Elaine. Yeah. And he goes, and I just realized it's out of focus. And he examined it very closely and saw that it, the, she had focused on the shoulder, not on the migrant mother's face. And I thought his point was, 
and it's still a great image, even though it's not in focus. But I'm not sure even if he got it or if he was focusing on it would have even been better if it would have oh. been in focus. But it had no emotional impact on the viewers. It's a world famous image. Yes. That focus was off. Yeah. That isn't, wasn't important. That's and not- and what I love about Martha Graham's quote is that there's only one of us and we're unique and what we see and how we create it's unique. And if we don't do it through our vision, it'll be lost to mankind. It will never exist. No one else can do it because it's unique to us. Pretty powerful statement. And and, and others who doubt their creativity or doubt their vision. She said, it's not your job to judge. Just do. Roger. (laughs) But it's true. Yeah, stop spending so much time time to convince yourself that you're not creative. I mean, you are. Everybody is and will become even more creative when you get rid of all that crap. Yeah, well, in fairness to Roger, I don't think he was arguing he wasn't creative. He was arguing he's not very creative, that there are people with more natural creativity than him. And I, I, my argument was it makes no difference because the person with a lot of creativity who follows the rules may not do as well as somebody with less creativity who yeah. just is themselves. And I'm not truthfully, I'm not sure I buy this. Some are more or less creative. How would we ever measure that? Uh-uh. And why would we ever focus on that? Why would it matter? Yeah. Wow, you're super creative. I guess we've said that, you know, and maybe maybe that's not a good thing to say. But you're right. I, I, I that's why I was doing this. How do you quantify? Yeah, creativity. And what yeah. does it matter? Yeah, just yeah. don't judge. Just do. Yeah. Good job. All right. Well, I think uh, we're ready to actually go to Death Valley now. Okay. Let's actually do it. Let's do it. And I will see you there uh, next week, bud. Okay. Looking forward to it, and and we will. We're gonna we're gonna do live from from Mesquite Flat Dunes or something like that. Oh yeah, no, let's... no, no, no! We should do live from Zabriskie Point. <laughs> okay. That's the one we're gonna. We'll do, do it. Do you have All some right. kind of a holder for your iPhone? So we I can do. Put it on. Bring it. All okay. right. See ya.